Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Simon from Van Van Steen. I'm here to give you a video of this 2019 on a 69 place. It is a Citroen Dispatch. This one is the 2 litre HDI with the 6 speed manual gearbox. Uh, it is a Euro 6 van, so all good for the emission zones. Uh, and it is in the Enterprise specification. So that is, it's a specification everybody wants. It gives you the sort of touchscreen system inside, which gives you Apple CarPlay and mirror link, Bluetooth telephone, cruise control, electric windows, mirrors. Uh, ooh, a few other things as well. I'll run you through the spec when we get into the cabin, shall I? Uh, now this is a one, the keeper from new vehicle. Uh, it has, uh, we have bought it direct off the company that's run it. Um, so uh, it has a warranted miles of 70,000 miles. Uh, it's in pretty good overall condition. Uh, now the purpose of our videos is to give you warts and all video walk around. So the vast majority of our customers will actually buy having watched this video and then leave a deposit and come and collect or leave a de deposit and get the van delivered to you. Um, so there's a couple of different options to think of. Now, we're going to start up here on the roof. Um, the roof, as you can see, um, obviously if you don't need any of this, it's fine, we can remove it. But you have got a Rhino roof rack with a Rhino pipe tube. Now, if you're looking around, you know how much this is going to cost. Uh, in order to fit it. So the rack itself is the uh, best part of 600 quid. Pipe tubes nowadays, where the hell has the price come from pipe tubes? So they're about 200 and something with a quid now. I was trying to price one up the other day. So uh, yeah, it is, what are we looking at? Six, 700 quid's worth of kit there on the roof probably. Um, so that's a, a nice Brucey bonus if you need it. Um, now coming down onto your windscreen, the windscreen is in good all round condition. There are no major stone chips or cracks. Um, obviously, we will be putting a fresh 12 months MOT on this vehicle before it goes out the door. Um, so uh, if there is anything, it'll be pulled up on there. Coming down onto your bonnet, in overall good condition, the bonnet, there are a couple of minor things to point out to you. And that is really, you've just got a couple of marks of bird lime, basically, on the bonnet. So um, there are those marks. Um, but uh, other than that, it's pretty straight and tidy, to be fair. Coming down to the front of the vehicle, your front bumper and your front grills are in overall good condition. Now, there is a slight scuff on the one side. I'm going to show you that in a second. Your passenger side headlamp unit, that is in good order. And your passenger side front bumper corner, that is also in good order. Now, if we look down the side profile of the van from this angle, a few things to mention. Look at the shine on the bodywork of that van. So it's got a lovely mirror finish to the black paintwork. Um, these vans are kind of half wrapped by the company that run them. So uh, obviously where they're wrapped, they're like brand new, aren't they? Um, but really nice condition down the sides. Coming around to the driver's side, just finishing off the corner. So your driver's side front headlamp unit's all good. Now on the driver's side, you we do have this very light scuff. Now it has just pushed the bumper in slightly there. That is easy. We can get that out with a hot air gun. So that's not a problem. But it does have some scuff marks just on the black plastic bits. Okay. Um, not a massive amount I can do about that, um, but it isn't really stand out when you, uh, you know, a metre away from the vehicle now and you don't really see it to be fair. Driver's side front wing, uh, overall good condition, no major damage. Your driver's side steel wheel, uh, factory steel wheel, minimal corrosion to be fair, fairly rare on a steel wheel. Uh, you have a Goodyear tyre on the front there. That tyre has that amount of tyre tread depth. Now with tires, we replace anything less than three millimeters with the legal limit being 1.6. Your mirror unit, um, front casing and the mirrors themselves, okay. And your driver's side door glass is all good. And then coming down, looking at your driver's side door, overall good condition. There's a couple of touch-ins to do on the door edges, just over here. Um, I have no idea why they've been done, but we'll get those touched in for you. And just standing back and giving you an overview of the side of the van, hopefully you can see. It's a genuine van, nice tidy condition. To be honest here, that scuff on the front bumper, a couple of touching, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, nice respectable van. <sighs> Getting down low, just looking at your sills. Sills are in good overall condition. Um, now we do just have, notice the lads. So they haven't, the lads haven't popped the, uh, the plastic trim off here. So you've got a little bit of the wrap 
um, just stuck behind the plastic trim. I'm fairly sure we can get that out for you. Uh, twin side loading door van. So, all oh, right, Siri, calm down. So the twin side loading door on the van, as you can see, um, sliding Sorry, door. The I'm still not sure about that. You'll have to excuse the eye watch that's uh, cutting in there a little bit. So, sliding door. No Steven Spielberg, let's face it, am I? But uh, hopefully you'll get an idea of the van. So, a um, few things to notice. Nice mirror finish to the paintwork. Your sliding door is all okay. Now, this van does have the locks for van security locks fitted to it, okay? So, they're on both of your sliding doors and your rear doors. That's 160 quid plus the VAT per lock. So, saves you a few quid there. Upper quarter's all looking good. And then lower quarter is also looking good as well. Uh, driver's side steel wheel this side factory steel uh, we have a it's a michelin tire on the back there tire tre tread depth is good and just a little bit of wear on the side it's slight ooh, the side wall of the tire from just brushing up against the curb but it's all perfectly legal looking down the profile of the van from this angle so lovely mirror finish to the black paintwork all looking very neat and tidy your rear light unit this side's all good Door hinges, now you know if you're looking around at any of these, whether they're wearing the Citroen badge, the Peugeot badge, the Toyota badge, the Vauxhall badge, these door hinges stick out from the side of the vehicle. Can you see that? So in the winter, you're driving along, those stick out, they get a bit of road grime on them, a bit of road salt, and they can just corrode up a little bit. Now, a lot of that is actually dirt, to be fair. If we get some polish on a uh, tea cut onto that, it'll come off, but there is a little bit on there, okay? Driver's side, rear bumper corner that's in good condition and coming round to the rear of the vehicle you can see that your 50-50 uh, split on the rear bar on the rear barn doors again locks for vans security lock there as well rear door handle this door itself good order this door has a little ding there um, but overall good condition and then rear bumper with rear reflector in pretty good overall condition to be fair a little bit to wear and tear on it but nothing major and opening up the vehicle inside now you can see it's got some fairly custom racking fitted to it now they have them all done like this uh, it gives you kind of false floor here which to slide stuff down and then you've got obviously the upper floor and then they put in some racking here as well now this may or may not suit you it's up to you it comes with a van if you don't need it you can take it out um, factory bulkhead as you can see it's not been abused has it you do have the opening hatch that goes through to the um, underneath the bottom of the rear seats the uh, front seats i should say uh, and then inside of the rear doors minimal wear and tear yes there's some minor scratching and marks on them but overall I would say pretty good condition. And then looking down the passenger side of the vehicle, again, very neat and tidy. Light unit this side's all good. Bumper corner this side, that's all good. Steel wheel this side does have some elements of corrosion on it, as you can see. It has a Nankang tyre, so that's your budget tyre. That tyre, plenty of tyre tread depth on there. And then your upper quarter this side, that's all good. Lower quarter this side is all good. There's your fuel flap. Locks for vans, security lock. Sliding door this side as well. Seals this side, all pretty good. There is a light, light scuff there on the sill, just ever so slight. And then driver's side door, sorry, driver's side door, passenger side front door. Sorry all good sure door handle this side all good door lock this side all good and then your door edges Sorry, this I'm side sure all looking good as well i have no idea what siri is doing on my watch today but he won't shut up will he all uh, right um overview passenger side here comes the rain <laughs> but hopefully you can see looking neat and tidy door glass all good Mirror, mirror glass is good. Mirror unit has just a couple of minor marks on it. And then your passenger side front wing, that's all looking good. 
passenger side front steel wheel has another Nankang tyre fitted, which is a budget, a small element of corrosion, but overall good. Tyre tread depth all looking good. Inside the vehicle, uh, door card, all neat and tidy. Your entry sills and plastics are all good. We do have an add blue filler cap missing there, so we'll get one of those ordered up from Citroen. And if I move the paper mats out of the way, you can see your flooring inside, all pretty good. We have your passenger airbag delete switch there and another 12 volt power under there as well. Here we have plug box and then dashboard fascia, etc. is all looking good. Headlamp line, uh, headlamp, headlamp, bloody hell, Simon. Um, headlining, headlining, yes. I'll be um, all good. Ooh, I'm having a bit of a brain fade today. I don't know what's going on. Obviously, a heavy weekend. Um, not one of my slickest of videos, I've got to be honest with you. Um, under looking, under looking, Jesus Christ. Looking underneath your bonnet. Let's get the right words. Fuse box, battery, air box, top of your engine. Yellow bit is your dipstick. There's your oil filler. There's your coolant bottle. Yes, they all look like that. Um, first ones we ever saw, we was like, oh, what's that? But no, that is how they look. They run on a very high pressure system, apparently, according to Citroen and Toyota and Peugeot that we've queried it with. Um, and then driver's side door card, as you can see, overall good condition. Entry sills and plastics this side, dirty from us getting in and out, but overall good. Minimal bit of wear on your driver's floor there. Get yourself a set of rubber mats off ebay or uh, van demon somebody like that um, and then seats as you can see those are all good and then looking underneath oh, looking underneath oh, looking at your bonnet it's all going in pear shape this video is um right if i fire it up so we have 70,844 miles your instrument binnacle is all nice and clean and tidy it's not full of dust top of your dashboard very presentable Interior light switches, alarms, and all of that are up here. Um, Add blue isn't going to need topping up, but we'll sort that out before it goes out the door. We have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth, Mirror Link, um, all your various other settings. It's a really great little system, this is, okay? Um, and obviously, we have radio. So we have a DAB, FM and AM radio system on there as well. Bluetooth telephone, Bluetooth music, and then you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Air conditioning, hazard warning lights, alarm sensors, central lock, sorry, not alarm sensors. Rear central locking, full central locking, 12 volt power, USB power, six speed manual gearbox. Uh, we have auto lights. We have cruise control with speed limiter. And then we have auto wipers over here as well. In between your seats, clean and tidy, with no old McDonald's. And that, I think, is about it. So there are 60 to 70 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. Um, if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, uh, Facebook, on our own website, and we have social media presence on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. Yeah, is that it? I think so.